Yeah, thank you. So, Robert Milkins, semi finalist in the Welsh Open last week, a run which brought him up to 25th in the world rankings, is opposed by Zach Surety from, from Basildon, whose chief That's claim to fame. Yeah. Declaring a tie. Is that he's a frequent yeah. practice partner? Yeah, two claws. Two claws. <laughs> of Stuart Bingham, who also lives in Basildon. Don't often get that. A tie on the lag. Yeah, your choice, Robert. I'll break. Thank you. Robert Milkins won the lag, and we'll break. Big day for Zach Surety. Hasn't played on television before. <laughs> Milkins flukes are red. One. Robert Milkins won. Nothing worth going for there. No. Is this red cuttable to right corner? Apparently not. Too tight to the cushion. Milkins has never won the shootout, but he's got the ideal game for it. Sights a shot very quickly, drops into his stance very quickly. Quick eye. He did get to the final in 2011. Yeah, both players similar in style. One just one feather. Back swing and hit it. Both what? quick players. I don't know if he'll be able to reach this yellow. Zach, it's only just. Ah, oh, good shot. That. Not only a good pot, but good control of the cue ball. Three. That's a poor shot to follow. That's your three. Yeah, a twitchy one. Is this too thin for Bob to take on? I think it is. He's biding his time. Little cannon here around the back of the green. Those two reds just left of the black. Be nice to cannon. One. That's what he played. Hamper bridging now. Bit unlucky to get stuck to the black, but dealt with the difficulty very well. Four. But he's let Milkins in now. Four. One. Yes. 
one little Six. advantage Robert Milkins has. He probably can steal another two or three seconds in most players looking at shots because when he eventually makes his mind up, he pulls the trigger so quickly. I'm gone astray, mind you. Robert Milkins, six. Three for Zach can be relieved to just only give away six points there from that chance. One. Overdid it for his intended Five. red, but this is okay. Yeah, made to look easy. Six. That was a good shot. And a nice Ten second shot clock now in operation. Sure, his problem seems to be not missing That's difficult it, balls, it. but missing easy ones. <laughs> One. I think this Seven. red will go, he's on it with the rest. Now, a little half ball cannon off the other red, it just depends whether that blocks the pink. Thank you. And it has done. Eight. Pink's the only colour he can hit. <laughs> In the circumstances, he actually played a good shot there. Robert but Milkins, eight. It's one of those edgy little frames, isn't it? There's actually a slice of good fortune there covering that red. Now, this is going to... All the way down to the wire, the way this frame's looking. Doesn't want the knuckle. That'll do nicely. things to avoid here and off in the middle zone he's avoided it oh, he's flipped to red but he's not out the woods here as we know he can't tickle in behind brown or yellow won't just be cue ball in the top right corner button there Robert Milkins one Well, referee's called a foul. Don't quite know what it was for. Maybe we'll get a Robert replay. For. Oh, he hit the brown. Okay. So Milkins could pl place the cue ball wherever he likes. One. Yeah, I don't think either player really settled in this frame, did they? Uh, the end Four. game is it looks like Bob Milkins will prevail here. Five. Twelve. Yeah, he's a course and distance animal, isn't he? Bob Milkins in the shootout. Won tons of matches in it down the years. Of course, got to the final 30. as well. Not a bad runner to be on. Twenty. Twenty one.
Rowan Milkins, 21. Still should be enough. 28 in it. Eight. Nine. So in the end, a very comfortable Ten, win. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, the experience of world number 25 from Gloucester goes through. It seems like... Zach Shorty is something to spare, and he'll be appearing in the second round.